Hey everybody, what's going on? Jerome here, and for you guys, an awesome episode of Dinosaurs that I know you're all gonna love, because in this episode, me and Mitch tend to our brand new Triceratops, and at the same time, we build a house. So you'll have to see what happens. There are some crazy twists, though, I have to warn you, so I'm not gonna ruin what that is, but it gets really fun, and it gets hilarious at the same time. So I wanna thank you all for watching, hope you all enjoy, and if you do, remember, click on that like button. Let's me know you appreciate my content, you wanna see more, and of course, let's go for 15,000 likes. If we can crush that, that'd be greatly appreciated, and just let's me know you like my content in general so thank you everybody Jerome look at this little baby ah, the egg. He's, he's gonna he's gonna grow up so fast bitch Here, take a quick look he's at 85 percent already let me see uh, hey, don't be I'll, I'll give you one of my shovels <laughs> on mine it says progress 26 out of 100 what I, I think you're lying get it back 94 26 you're a liar Said 26 on my end. That's okay, he's about to hatch. Come on, come on, little buddy. Welcome back to Dinosaurs, everybody. Come on. Did he hatch? 103? What? <laughs> well, I guess we know who was right. What? Because <laughs> you planted it. Yeah, let me see, let me see. 110 out of 100? Yeah, let me see what the book says. Oh, no, I got a firm knock. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Mitch. I didn't know you had a reading uh, problem. You could have just admitted you were illiterate. Let me see real quick. Yeah, it's 52, Mitch, not 113. I'm sorry, man. Come on. You could, you could have admitted you were illiterate, man. I wouldn't have made fun of you, but... <laughs> Are you kidding me? 122 now. <laughs> we still got a, a little bit to go. Probably another minute or two. But in the meantime, Mitch, welcome back to Dinosaurs. And of course, let's try and build this cage up a little bit. I think it needs to be one higher. I mean, if you insist, go for it. I'm just gonna watch as uh, this progress continues to surpass the 100% threshold. We're at 140 almost. Look at it go. Well, maybe he'll grow up extra big and strong. Maybe, yeah, maybe he'll just come out of that egg as a full-grown uh, Triceratops. Exactly, like he'll be like boxer status or something. <laughs> 147? Jerome, I think you're going to miss it. You're going to miss him poofing out of that egg. All right, all right. I'm just working on the fences. It says zero now. Yeah, pass it over to here, Mitch. Let me, <laughs> let me read. But here, it's okay. We all, we all can't be readers like me. So let me just check real quick. <laughs> uh, let's see what the good old book has to say. Uh, oh, my God. It's back at 10. What? <laughs> all right. Uh, can we pick him up? 14. Leave him. Oh, he exploded. Are you serious? He's gone. <laughs> Are you for real? I think we lost the... He's gone. Well, it looks like we get to start our graveyard a little early. Are you... He drove. How did that even happen? What have you done? What, you, what did I do? It's because you were... You were reading the book too much or something. And you, you were calling me illiterate. Well, I guess we could start the graveyard. Ah, that's true. It's something to do. Well... He lived a good life, I guess. <laughs> we didn't even get a chance to name him or her. Well, the... where, where are we making this graveyard at, then? I feel so terrible. Yes, we gotta make the graveyard Everyone watching here, is but... just laughing at us right now. I don't even know, like, what just happened, though? You're a monster, that's what happened. <laughs> uh, but, like... You were trying to make scrambled eggs out of a triceratops. You're a horrible, don't... horrible person. But he went to 100 multiple times, and then he got reset to zero, and then he exploded. You know what's going to happen? We're going to randomly walk in there, and there's just going to be Triceratops walking around. That's what I thought, too. I think there's definitely going to be a Triceratops. Well, we got to find a place for the graveyard. <laughs> All right, well, uh, hmm. What's a good place for it? I think right here. Against, right here? Against the ruins. I guess so, yeah. That'd make a little here, bit of sense. Here, I'll clear it out for you. Thanks, buddy. Guess we'll make... Uh, it's the first one, so I guess we'll just make it out of cobblestone. Keep it simple. There we go. And then we gotta... <laughs> this is so awkward. Like, what did we just do? I don't I, I don't even know. Like, I, I'm kind of speechless, because I, I was kind of hoping we'd have like a new dino, but... Yeah, I mean, that, that's probably too much to ask for, though. A little bit too much, apparently. Just, just a tiny bit too much to ask for. All right, so we'll... Place the dirt down. Good yeah, that's right what there. I was doing. So I was gonna expand this for us. There it is. All right, that's we, proper. We, we all know cemetery. that this graveyard's gonna very quickly grow at the rate we're going. At the rate we're going, we already killed a nautilus to make a book. I don't know how that one works out. We managed to destroy a triceratops by exploding him. So yeah, I'd say this graveyard's gonna grow very quick. 
Oh my goodness. What about Nautilus? Well, we didn't really have a Nautilus because we just made a book out of his DNA. So that one doesn't count. I don't know. Does it, Mish? I actually don't know. Does it? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can't answer that question for you. <laughs> how do you, how do you feel? <laughs> I mean, it's it's. I mean, we could get into the well, the politics of this, but I mean, that might make <laughs> the viewers and myself a little uncomfortable. It might get a little heated because I don't know how everyone stands. But that's more or less what happened there. That's horrible. I mean, you made a book out of him. I don't, I don't know what to we say. We just made so. a book out of what could have been a baby. I don't... I don't know. All right, I'm going to make a sign for this Triceratops. So what are we going to name him? R... Uh, oh, no, no. The name comes first, then R-I-P-M. For rest in power moves. Uh -huh. So what do we name him? Tracy the Triceratops? Tracy. Tracy the Triceratops. Alrighty. R I P M. <laughs> Sorry, Trace. <laughs> it's a short life. Oh my gosh. Uh, I don't know what more to say. I really don't have anything else to say at the eulogy here. Like, it didn't even make it out of the egg. It just kind of exploded. So. Yeah. I Sorry. Well, you, you, Sorry I smashed you two million bits. Yeah, I was about to say, you were the executioner. <laughs> so. Yeah, I mean, uh, if there's any other way, I wouldn't have smashed you two million bits, but I, I don't know how else to put it. It was an accident. All right, I'm gonna uh, give her. That's it. I gave it for the eulogy. I gave Tracy some flowers, so. <laughs> yep, I I think that pretty much sums up what happened there. I'm almost positive, actually. Well, now you got plenty of time to expand that cage. Yeah, there's really no rush anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we'll start working on that house then, and maybe next episode we'll get some fossils or some off camera, and. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to say. Oh, we're horrible, horrible people. What have we done? <laughs> you know what? I'm going to make some more chests and store all... Cause I, I constantly am getting my inventory filled up with junk. You know what's going to stink, too? If we get an aggressive dinosaur next and that wood cage isn't going to no, work, that's why we I think iron we one. just go get a ton of biofossils and get some bunch of DNA. That way we can choose and pick a herbivore for that cage. Otherwise, we have to make a new cage. That's true. I'm going to be so butthurt if we don't get use out of that cage. We will. Just I might... spent like an episode working on that, Mitch. Yeah, it just might not be our first dino. Alright, so where should we build this house? You want to build it right here? I mean, I'm, I'm going to just leave it up to you and your destructive ways. Alright, we'll build it right here. You made the mistake of leaving it up to me, so I'm going to build it right here. Alright, just, just make it nice and big. Is yeah, this I'm gonna... wood? What kind of wood is this? Because we're going to have a ton of jungle wood. I think this is jungle. No, this is oak wood. All right. Well, break it down. But no, 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 no. Don't worry. I have a plan. You, you have a plan? Yeah, it's gonna be for appearance. All right. Jerome has a plan. Everyone, brace yourselves. <laughs> yeah, brace yourselves, Mitch. It's I'll, not gonna end up good. I'm gonna clear this for you. Uh, should we make? Yeah, we'll make. No, nah, this is why. Is this gonna be the floor then? Yeah, it's gonna be the perimeter of the floor. Oh my gosh! Not even the full floor. Wow! What a blessing. Well, I counted that one block for one wrong. There we go. That's why I'm not an architect. Alrighty, and then the interior of this is going to be made out of jungle wood. Why don't we be really fancy? And we, I think we have a good amount of all the woods before. I mean, jungle, obviously, for the main portion, but... Never nope, mind, he's wrong. already started. Nope, completely wrong. <laughs> completely wrong. Yeah, I misread that one. Yeah, I don't know how you did that one. Misread that one so badly, but you did. <laughs> there we go. Plant this wood down here. Oh, no, uh, we actually have a ton of oak wood. Oh, I know, I figured as much. I mean, Oak's the most popular. If not, we could easily go get more, but... You know what, okay. I'm just going to hand this off to you. Thank you, buddy. You do what you got to do. Is, you... that, is that... Oh, it's more Oak, okay. Yeah, it's more, it's more Oak. <laughs> and just to make it really clear, I'm going to do something for you here. Just because, I mean, I don't want you to get lost. You got my back, then? Yeah, yeah. There you go. I, I lab uh, wh Which part is the front of the house? I That's labeled the question. chest for you. Now I'm gonna go get some more wood for us. Well, what, what part of the house is this? I, I think this is gonna be the first grand ball, grand grand ballroom, the first of it. Yeah, but where's the entrance? Like, it, it, how do we get in? I mean, you're the architect, Joe. <laughs> I'm letting you. I'm leaving that up to you. Oh dear God, I've never had so many options in my life. Um, I guess we'll. First, obviously, you got to build the cornerstones of it before you decide what part of the house is the actual part of the house, right? I mean, that's... Yeah. It's only logical. Is. So, break this apart. Uh, 
And while so you do glad that, I got to be the architect. I'm gonna go satisfy Betty's hunger. Is it? I don't think we have enough wood. I mean, there's never enough. Oh, you can never have enough wood. Alright, one, two, three, four. High enough. Alright, I'm building this like four up. So this is pretty solid then. Got the team's back, Mitch. Yeah, yeah, of course you do. Oh, that's oak. I guess we'll get one, extra oak. Two, three, Good call. four. Some apples. Yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'm gonna have two entrances. Just to make it simpler on us. So there's gonna be one from this side and one from the other. Okay, good call. That's thinking with your head. That's thinking with your noodle. Exactly. Just make it convenient for us. Okay. Now... Oh, another big jungle tree. I didn't even have to go too far. Thank you. Yeah, Betty <laughs> I think is... I let you down like that. Betty much. is thoroughly satisfied with this. Well, of course. Here we go. Nice chop chop. Jerome, you running out of wood yet? Because I'm about to have... Uh... A full no, dust chest. I was actually thinking I have way too much wood, but that works. I thought you said never enough. <sighs> it is never enough, Mitch, but I have a lot of wood. <laughs> I've got a lot of wood. This is a little bit ridiculous. Uh, ah, put the door right there. And then we'll put this next door right... Well, you see, yeah. I thought you would want a variety, so I'm bringing in some oak, some jungle. If I can find a little spruce and birch, I'll get that too. Alright, now how many windows do we want on the place? Do we want the whole entire second layer to be windows? Or do we just want like a I don't know if we windows? have enough glass for that yet. We need to cook some more glass up. Do we have any glass cooked, period? We have like 27. Really? Or 20 now, because I use some for the cultivator. Huh. The more you know. You just gotta find out which chest that is. Yeah, exactly, right? That's the trick. Alright, both of these trees are coming down, and then I think... I think it'll be enough for the moment, but never enough. I'm rightfully confused. Oh, got an iron shovel. I'm gonna get me some sand. No, oh, you couldn't find it? Like glass? Yeah. Oh, I was too lazy. Oh, well, I guess we need more anyway, so. Yeah, never have you enough we glass. Need, we need, and Drew mentioned this between episodes, so I'm stealing his idea. We need a mod that does the same thing that these trees do, but for everything. Like, you go to get some sand, just makes a crater. You go to... Oh my god. Yeah, can you imagine? iron, just takes a whole chunk of the cave. That'd be so fantastic. I don't even know what I'd... I'd just abuse that. So I'd just walk in the middle of a field and just... Rawr, and just Hulk smash the ground with a shovel. And have, like, dirt explode everywhere and... <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be amazing. It'd be wonderful. Alright, I'm coming home. Alright, bitch. I swear there's definitely no glass in here. Any of these three chests. Ah, I found it. 23. What? I put it back. Oh, jeez. Okay. Guess there really was glass. Yeah, I wouldn't lie to you. Uh, there we go. Alright, so do we want... Guess we'll just do a couple windows. So we'll do... One. And we'll do... Alright. One. Jerome, I think I might have got a lot of wood. That's good. I'm not entirely sure if it's enough, but I got a lot of it. Alright. Well, I just realized it didn't matter that I used oak for the floor, because I completely covered it up anyway, so... That happened. <sighs> That's why you don't leave me in charge of these things. Well, I, it's just fine with me. Let's see. Yeah, I can yeah. see it here on the outside a little bit. It doesn't really look that nice, though. If you squint your eyes and look at it this way. <laughs> look at it sideways. <laughs> Everything just starts to come together. Exactly. I remember, you we learned our lesson. On the outside of the house, you gotta use buttons, not pressure plates. Who used buttons last time? Remember the creepers started coming in? Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh my god. Forgot about that. That was a little, that was a little scary time in my life. Yeah. It was definitely nerve wracking. Alright, so I'm gonna. Take a chunk of this. I'm gonna do some work. Cause that's yeah. all I ever do is do work. All you ever do, Mitch? And win, because you know that's the way it goes. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm like that's a little depressing. He never wins. He just does work. Okay, that should be enough sticks. Actually, just in case, I'm gonna do this. Can never really have enough. There we go. This is going to be a solid house, Mitch. I can tell already. It's only one floor, but... Hey. 
you know? Gotta start somewhere. And I'm I'm coming to expand and add the second floor. Oh, you're actually we're actually are gonna have a second floor in this thing? Absolutely. Oh my I mean, god. Where are we gonna store all of our wood, Jerome? You're not using That's your true. noggin. That's true. What was I thinking? How can you have a lumber mill business and a house in the same thing without having a second floor? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's definitely the most successful Minecraft lumbering business I've ever seen. <laughs> I haven't really seen bad. any before, but... There's a first. There's a first for everything. Exactly. All right. I'm surprised they don't have specific types of doors, you know, depending on what kind of wood you made it out of. Yeah, it should look different. Really, it should. I'm surprised they haven't done that yet. Uh... Yeah, I guess this place is down here so I can climb up. Why not? Alright. Well, how many... How high up are you making the next floor? Well, Jerome, we do like to live in luxury here. So, uh, if so we're we gonna have extra have, high ceilings. Yes, yeah, so if we're going to have the 15 grand ball dining rooms and the 72 car garage, I think we need to have high ceilings. That's true, actually. Yeah, there's no way the helicopter's gonna fit in there otherwise. <laughs> and what are we gonna do with all of our yachts? <laughs> no, precisely. We'll put them in the fountain out front. <laughs> that might need a little expanding, but you know, I, I completely understand where you're coming from. Yeah, we'll go whitewater rafting with them. Chop. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're almost done with this ceiling. And what's gonna be on the third floor again? Everything. Are we actually getting a third floor? No, not, not yet, not yet. I was gonna say, like, this is gonna take a while. Alright, how high up do you want this floor to be? Is this high enough? Um. One more up. You got. Oh, there's a spider coming! I got it! Ha! Spider's trying to break into our house? Yeah, I, I took care of it. Oh my god, a skeleton just shot me off. God <laughs> dang it, Skelly. Always messing with me and ruining my day and stuff. Well, just know, Mitch, what Minecraft teaches you in life when things get down is eat a baked potato and you'll start healing. You'll feel better already. Oh, I feel phenomenal. I've been eating a lot of taters. One, two, I only three. have 16 left, actually, now that I look at it. <laughs> yeah, actually, I have only 15 left. It's oh, weird I how give me an oak plank. I wasn't using oak. All right, we got the framework for floor number two. This is nice, this is really coming along. Yeah, definitely, now we just gotta figure out the window situation on this floor. This might be better than Casa del Nooch. That's, that's a little tough. Actually, I need to start cooking the glass because we only have two left. Oh, how much sand did you get? Uh, 22 plus year 31, so. Yeah, I yeah, slap that all in there. We don't need sand for anything. And we get sand nonstop when we cook up our biofossils. Speaking of which, between episodes, we need to go get some of those. Some cactus green? Nah, we got lots of cactus green. <laughs> gotta get we got some more cactus green. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Alright, I'm coming back up. Let's tidy up this ceiling. And then I think we can pretty much call this one quits. Yeah, buddy. You're not gonna put, like, anything else up? Like, don't we want, like, the walls? Or do you, do you not want. Do you even. Drunk, well, we so don't even need to make walls I don't here. Think I like you understand. this. This is yeah. This is the uh, observatory. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, so we can observe our dinosaurs. No, I kind of like this area without any walls. Yeah, and we can always expand later. Our top floor will always be wallless. So when we go to expand, we'll we'll put walls here, and then our top floor, no walls. I like it. I like the look of it. It'll be the observatory deck. I like. Reminds it. me of my actual home. <laughs> yeah, you know, we got a second floor without. I'm sure you walls. do live in the trees in the jungle, so... Yeah, exactly. Isn't that normal to live in a no, house with no walls on the second floor? No, I, I appreciate that. It's nice. Alright, oh, well, beautiful. I think on that note, we've got our house coming along, we have our first gravestone, and <laughs> what more could you ask? You could ever ask for any more, Mitch. Oh, we need to set up some torches. That's what we got to do as well. Oh, I've got 63 of them. Alright, so... We're going to do some more interior decorating, and then next oh. time, we'll see you when we put some more DNA all up in those analyzers. 
That's right. While we're placing these, I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoy. If you do, remember to click that like button. Let's go for a strong 15,000 likes. And of course, be sure to check out Mitch's channel down below. Yeah, that'd be awesome. And those of you watching my channel, go subscribe to Jerome and let us know what you thought. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye, everybody.